What's up, big time gang? Bolt Zeus in the house. This is a quartz movement. I'll be doing a review, a little show and tell on this one. With uh, up close photos as well. If you're interested, stay tuned. So welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one is a Bolt Zeus tri-cable. Awesome watch. This is my first tri-cable. I've had a lot of Bolt Zeus's, but I've never had one with the three cables on top. Obviously this is a uh, black and red, black dial, red uh, hands. And then you get the black and red cabling on the bezel and on the bracelet and the case sides. Nice, thick Bolt Zeus bracelet as always. Um, this is, let's see, the model number will be right there. Model number 23049, Invicta Bolt Zeus. This is a quartz watch. This is a Japanese VD-53 caliber movement. Um, this is like the, the lowest of the low movements that Invicta puts in their watches. That's why this is not a reserve watch. Um, it keeps time, but it's you know a basic, you know bottom of the totem pole quartz movement. Um, I like the looks of this watch, and like I said before, you know movement matters, but not very much. Uh, I'm more of the look. Um, Mr. Kenny Trainer, thank you. He had this watch up for trade. Um, I like the way it looked. I wanted to add it to my collection, so we made a deal, and uh, here it is for you guys to see. So obviously the tri-cable is called tri-cable because it has three cables on the bezel. So all mo or most of the Bolt Zeus's have the three cables on the bracelet there. They have the three cables on the case side, but they only have one cable on the bezel. And so this is a tri-cable because it has three on the bezel. Um, screw down crown, the pushes are push and pull. Um, you know, basic black dial, no no mother of pearl, anything like that. And like I said, it's got the red hand accents and Victor's in red. Um, very nice watch. You know, for your uh, budget Bolt Zeus, it's a good looking watch. Um, obviously, the Bolt Zeus get a lot higher end. You got SW500s, you got uh, DD movements, you got 7750 movements. But um, this is like the bottom of the totem pole as far as uh, movement wise. But it's got all the goodies that the normal ones have, which is the bracelet, which is a major factor for me. Um, the case, the, you know, the build quality is still good. It's just got a, a lower movement and it's not a reserve. Um, I know those things matter to a lot of us and they do to me too. But uh, I think about my people, my viewers, and uh, I thought you guys would like to see this watch. And uh, I know I'm going to rock the crap out of it. I like it. So, uh. Still got the scissor clasp, you know, it's still a good build. It's just got the, the VD 53 movement in it. It's just like the Magnums, you know, they have the reserve Magnums that come with the 5040D, and now they've got the uh, non reserve Magnums, the Bolt Zeus Magnums that come with the VD 53. It's a non reserve, basically the same thing as this. They sell for a lot cheaper because the movement's cheaper. And uh, if you're just trying to get into a, a, a Magnum, you never owned one, that's the right one to get into because it's cheap. You know, it doesn't cost nearly as much, you know, where magnums are a little expensive and pricey normally, especially on a bracelet. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing uh, some up close pictures, I'll have those coming up. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Please share with your friends. You know, um, I'm almost to the goal of 2,500. And uh, once we get to that goal, I'll be giving away an Invicta. I haven't decided on which Invicta I'm giving away, but, um, when that time comes and we get there, it's definitely going to be one of my personal watches. And uh, I hope everybody will be happy with the choice that you're given. Um, a free watch is a free watch regardless, right? Um, anyway, stay tuned for the pictures. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description.